Hi, my name is Jan Gordon, and there was a time in my life when I felt very guilty and unforgiven, and I want to tell a little story about that. I grew up in Iowa. I was the youngest of five children. My dad was a farmer, and every summer we would go out in the field and get our hoe and get all the weeds out of the field, and at the end of summer, my dad would get ready uh, to harvest, and uh, it was just so beautiful with the cool weather coming on, and um, on Halloween night, my grandfather, who had a field nearby us, uh, went out in the field and ended up having a heart attack and dying. And that situation just left um, my five-year-old little mind fearful of death and unsure of what would happen to me after I died. Uh, about 13 years old, my sister had come home from college and she had become a Christian. Uh, she asked me, Jan, if you were to die today, would you have eternal life in heaven? And I said, up until now, I've gone to church, and I don't know that there's an answer for that. And she said, there is. And so she walked me through the Bible and shared some verses. One in particular was Romans 6.23. It says, for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. That first part says, for the wages of sin is death. Wage is something you earn, and death is ultimately a separation between me and God. It was a spiritual separation. And she went on to explain that there needed to be a payment, and that payment being death meant that someone had to die. It couldn't be someone who is here on earth because it says all have sinned. And so God, in his love, sent Jesus Christ, and that's what the end of the verse says. Um, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. And so knowing that it was a gift, it wasn't something I could earn or pay for. I just could accept it. And so that night, I remember telling God and admitting that I was a sinner and I had uh, sinned against him and wanted Jesus to pay for my sin. And I invited him into my life that day and have ever since then known for certain that I have eternal life in heaven. Uh, Romans 10, 9 and 10 says um, that if you confess with your mouth Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart man believes, resulting in righteousness. So when I believed that day, the result was righteousness before God. It doesn't mean I don't sin anymore. It just means that when God looks at me, he knows that my sin is paid for and I've been made righteous through Jesus. And the verse goes on to say, and then when you confess with your mouth, the result is salvation. So that day was a, a huge day in my life. Um, it meant the difference between life and death for me. So this was a very uh, significant story in my life. And I was wanting to see if you had a significant story in your life that you'd like to tell. So thanks for hearing my story.